In this video, I'm going to show you how to build waterfall charts, which is great for financial reports and looking how values change over time, especially if you have positive and negative values together. And before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get alerts when I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So let's head over to Tableau. All right, we're going to be starting with the Superstore data set, which is right here. So let's just get that going. And it's actually remarkably simple. I'm surprised Tableau hasn't made this a default feature just waterfalls because I do see it all the time working with you know finance teams or any even HR and all that kind of stuff um, it's just such a common thing so what we're going to do is first let's show a standard one and then we're going to get into the waterfall so I'm going to start with the date and we're going to do like maybe quarter nothing too granular so you can see what it's actually doing and I'm going to grab profit for this one all right and let's switch this to a bar. And one thing you'll notice with this one is that all the values are positive. We for this for waterfalls, it's really good for values where it's like positives and negatives because you want to see when things change. So if I grab subcategory, there's actually one here with positives and negatives. So let me just scroll down. I think it's the very last one. Yeah, this one. So you can see the tables here. So I'm going to keep this one get rid of that so you can see there's some positives there's negatives we're gonna add some color in here just so we can see the difference All right we're gonna do a two-step let's make it kind of brightish nothing too <laughs> depressing for a Sunday morning let's go here and apply all right, so we can see all the times that we've lost money all the times we've we've earned money now I can do a running total on this let's full screen it I mean I can do a running total and that's great. I can kind of see things are dropping. But one of the things is how much did it drop by is actually more important in some cases. So let's go back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the profit. So this is how you do your waterfall. So you go here and you go duplicate. And we're going to rename this and call it negative profit. All right. And all we're doing is if we go inside, we're just adding a negative right in front of it. Let me just move this here. All right, we're just adding a negative. That's, that's all you do. We go OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this sum of profit just so we can have a before and after shot. OK, and we're going to activate this marks card for the bottom one, which is this one here. We're going to switch it to Gantt, as you can see. So now we only have the value, the, the actual aggregated value, and we need to give it a length. And we're going to use that negative profit for the length. So if we grab this and drop it into size, right? And then we're going to go in here and go running total, okay? That is pretty much the waterfall. That's as simple as it is, right? So just those steps, and I'm gonna turn on the labels and I'm gonna explain how this all works. So in this first, in this first part here, we started with $2,126 as a loss, and maybe we'll make this red, or yellow is misleading me. All right. So we actually lost money. Okay. And then in the next quarter, we lost money again. So it's really the summation of these two. So you can see 2,126 minus 1,142 gives you 3,268. And then the next quarter, we actually made money 829. So the value actually went up, right? And it kind of goes up and then down, up and then down. And that's how a waterfall chart works. So if we look at this in a bit more um, like zoomed in a bit, if I exclude this, right, you can see it a little bit better. Let's see if we can make this white. Oops, hang on, editing the wrong one. This one, just give it a bit of length. There we go. So you can see it's 2,126, and that line there matches that starting point there. Okay, so let's do it for the other one. So it goes like this, and then from here, this one matches this one, this one matches the top of this little one, the bottom of this matches this one, that matches that one, that matches the bottom of that, and that matches that. So you can actually see in just a simple visualization, if we get rid of this top one, we can actually <clears throat> we can actually say at the end of this time period, we're at a loss of about 10,000 pounds, and we actually only had two good quarters, right? It's a bit harder to tell that in the other visualization, which is why a waterfall chart is so great. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm a lot. And be sure to subscribe for my new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And until then, bye.